right, if you recognize that, that is actually the first riff from Stiff Upper Lip by ACDC. Um, Angus Young has just got a million great groove and technical things that he does in his playing. And this one is really great because it really sh serves to show you how that major third, the, the twist from minor to, to major third can be used along with all kinds of other little cool things. So let's just take a look at this once. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be playing with what we refer to as hybrid picking, okay? Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how the pattern goes with the left hand and then I'm gonna show you how to do it with your right hand. So let's just break this down a little bit. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna be an A minor pentatonic and I'm using that, that major third. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my pinky on the eighth fret of the second string. Now you could use your third finger if you wanted to, but I'm gonna use my pinky and I'm gonna pluck it. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a bend. Just a little blues bend. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the fifth fret of the first string. And then I'm gonna play eight, five on the second string. So I have. And then I'm gonna go back to that five again. Okay, then I'm gonna go to the seventh fret of the, uh, of the second string. So again, there's where we kind of start combining that cool major and minor pentatonic stuff together as well. Okay, so bum, 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 bum. Then we're gonna go into another pattern where we're gonna do this. So now we're doing two notes per, per um, uh, for each one of these little patterns that we're playing. And when we play those, we call those double stops. So I'm playing the fifth fret of the second string and the fifth fret of the third string. And then I'm gonna do that hammer on from the minor third to the major third. So that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm playing the five and the five on the second and the third strings, doing my hammer on. And then I'm gonna go to the two sevens on the second and the third strings. And then I'm gonna go back to the two fives, but I'm not gonna play the, the hammer on to the, to the major third. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna play. So I have. And then that's where I'm gonna do my hammer on. Okay, now underneath all of that, he's doing this. With his fifth string, he's palm muting it slightly. And, and that's how you're getting that sound. So you gotta kind of figure out what's gonna work best for you, but here's what I would suggest. Use your ring finger to do the hybrid picking. So you're gonna be doing palm muting here on the sixth string, okay? Then you're gonna take your ring finger and you're going to place it on the second string, and you're gonna use that for both the second and the first string as you play. You're gonna play. So as you're playing this, as you're playing that, every time you play one of those, you're gonna also pick the fifth string along with it. See that? Now the trick is to give the fifth string a little bit of a palm mute but don't palm mute at all on the first and second strings. Let those ring out. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna head on to that, that hammer on from minor to major third. And when we do that, what we're gonna be doing again is using the first finger for the fives, hammering to the middle finger on the six, but we're also gonna play the fifth string in the bass, just like that. So we have Then you have two more palm mutes. So it's like doing three of these, but you're just doing one of them with the. Then you're gonna do the two sevens along with another palm mute of the fifth string. Then he pauses just for a second. And then he does one more palm mute. And then he's gonna go back to those fives. And again, when he does the fives, he does the, the fifth string in the bass as well. Just like that, so you have. Now, you can bend those. 
If you want to, you can throw a little bit of a a little bit of a pull on those fives or those sevens. I'm not doing it. I don't really hear it in the song, but that doesn't mean that he doesn't do it. Uh, in prepping for this, I watched a bunch of different live videos of Angus playing this uh, along with the studio version, and I'm doing more of the studio version of this um, because he sometimes he does do a bit more palm muting in, in the riff, but if you listen to the song real close, you're going to hear that that one, every time he plucks a note on the thin strings, he's also doing a palm mute on the fifth string. And if you're using your third finger, that gives you your middle finger to be able to pluck the third string as soon as that comes in for those double stops. See? So as you break this down, the most important thing is to just start off being able to think of it as See what I mean? Just build that in its rhythm and then start just taking pieces. Take the first piece and add in the hybrid picking. and try and keep everything else as quiet as you can. And if you can, try and get used to using that third finger. You can use a different finger and it's no problem. It's just that you have to understand when you get to the double stops, you're gonna have to use more than one finger, right? So even if you just build that part. And remember how important that little blues bend at the very beginning is. And it might take you a little while to get used to using that hybrid picking with that ring finger, pulling those, those strings like that. And then you've got your... And it just connects right back around again. Now remember, Try and keep all the other strings quiet as you're doing this. You might kind of be laying across all those other strings that you don't want. And he doesn't have like a big rock and roll kind of palm mute. He's not way back here. You know? He's not really doing that. He's got more of a real mellow kind of palm mute with very little distortion happening here. So it's okay for you to move a little bit further this direction than you normally do with your palm muting. Like I said, keep the, the distortion, keep the gain down a ways, because it's really not about high gain at this point. Um, keep it keep it a little bit lower, it'll be easier to manage. The other thing that you'll notice too is that, um, now I don't have the, the gear that he has, I don't have the, the SG and stuff like that. So I'm just using my Strat in a single coil position. Um, I am using currently um, Guitar Rig, which is a, a plugin that I use for my computer and I'm just using one of the stock tones off of there. It's one of the um, Billy Gibbons ZZ Top style tones, but it works very well for, for this sound. I just back off that distortion or my volume just a little bit. See, and it, it cleans it up very nice. So. It's about the, 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 the art of being able to hybrid pick, adding in the subtleties of blues, which is that blues band, certainly the minor, the major third uh, lick that we're using. Um, but it's also the subtleties of, of setting your tone so you don't have just an astronomical amount of distortion going on. You don't want to blast this sucker with too much distortion. Back it off a little bit. And then remember how you can kind of move forward a little bit with your palm, and that way you're, you're getting a bit more deadening off of there, but he's not getting, like I said, he's not getting that big rock and roll palm mute. He's just got this kind of thing going. It's 
So, so much of it has to do with feel. So, think about those subtleties, not just the tab that which you have, um, but think about the approach that you're taking as you're playing. You know, as you try and do this hybrid picking thing, always remember that because we get so used to playing with a guitar pick, we tend to, to down pick quite heavily. You want to balance that out with whatever you're picking with your, with your third finger or whatever finger you chose to use. <laughs> You know, as you practice these sorts of things, one thing that you can practice too is try and practice picking the second string in this case. I've got my third finger on the second string. You could practice picking that a little bit harder. Or a little bit softer. But try and create dynamic adjustment between what your third finger is doing and what your palm muting is doing. Don't have your palm mute be the loudest thing because that melody is what's important. See what I mean? You want to really be able to hear that melody. It's just a really, really fun song to play. So take a look at that. Hopefully that makes sense. It gives you a little bit of a of taste of how uh, Angus would be approaching a guitar riff. Um, and some of the subtleties that, that he would be using, some of those various blues subtleties. But certainly, seeing that minor third to major third in action is really, really important. So have some fun, practice it a little bit, maybe record yourself playing it, see how it goes. Um, two things I would always suggest to you when you're learning stuff like this, number one, jump out on YouTube or whatever, look for some live videos of him playing, watch him play. Uh, see how comfortable he looks. Watch what he's doing with his hands as best you can, because usually the camera guy's all over the place. But, um, and the second thing is, is if you ever get the chance, record yourself playing it. You know, however, it, it doesn't, even with your phone, it doesn't make any difference. Just something where you can listen back and go, how's my tempo? How's my feel, right? How's, how's the volume, the dynamic of it? And, and just kind of mess with it a little bit. So take care, practice hard, and we'll talk to you soon.